or no, will we? Mr. Prussian, the communists and the collaborators are always making fun of our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and knocking our patriotic songs like the national anthem. I've often wondered, what kind of pledges, if any, do the communists make in cell meetings? And what kind of music, uh, that is songs, do they sing? There is a pledge that every communist takes, one of sacrificing his life for the Soviet Union and for a Soviet America. But I think that some of the songs they sing will better answer your question. Now, I'm a terrible singer, but let me try to sing to you a red song sung at cell meetings whenever the environment permits. You will recognize the melody of this song as being Maryland, My Maryland, one of our great American songs. Listen to what the commies, the foreign agents in our country, have done with it. The people's flag is deepest red. It shelters o'er our martyr dead. And as their limbs grow stiff and cold, our hearts grow ranched in every fold. So raise the scarlet banner high. Within its shades we'll live and die. Though cowards shirk and traitors sneer, we'll keep the red flag flying here. Friends, this is not Moscow they are singing about. This is what they are dedicated to do to our America. Now that is carrying blasphemy pretty far, isn't it? But let me sing you another red song in which they use the melody of our great traditional hymn, Jesus is Our Savior. You are all familiar with this beautiful hymn. It goes something like this. Jesus is our Savior, we shall not be moved. Jesus is our Savior, we shall not be moved. Now listen to the way I've heard it and helped sing it in a communist cell meeting. Stalin is our leader, we shall not be moved. Stalin is our leader, we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. We shall not be moved. Originally, their substitute for Jesus was Lenin. Later, it became Stalin, and today, of course, Khrushchev. When the student riot was provoked on that infamous day in San Francisco, this was the song the so-called innocent, misled students sang, except this time they substituted for Jesus the words, abolish the committee. This is not hearsay. I was there waiting to testify. My blood ran cold. More than ever, I knew now that the most important thing that I would ever do in my lifetime was my decision to spend the rest of that lifetime fighting the red fascism that is threatening everything we stand for and believe in.